Inside every living cell, there is a constant movement of ions across the membrane. Some ions drift naturally by diffusion, but others must be moved with precision. The sodium-potassium pump handles this controlled movement. It is a membrane protein that uses energy to keep sodium and potassium at the right levels inside and outside the cell. The cycle begins on the inside. The pump binds three sodium ions from the cytoplasm. It then uses one molecule of ATP to change its shape and release these sodium ions to the outside. In this new position, the same protein binds two potassium ions. Another shift in shape brings these potassium ions into the cell. Each cycle moves three sodium ions out and two potassium ions in. Creating a steady difference between the two sides of the membrane, this unequal exchange produces both an electrical and a chemical gradient. The inside stays slightly negative compared to the outside, and this difference is essential for many functions. Nerve cells rely on it to send impulses. Muscle cells need it for contraction. Several transport systems depend on this gradient to bring nutrients into the cell, including glucose. If the pump stopped working, sodium would drift inward, water would follow, and the cell could swell or lose its ability to regulate its environment. The gradients created by the pump also guide secondary transport systems, allowing cells to coordinate movement of ions and molecules efficiently. A significant portion of the cell's energy is dedicated to keeping this pump running. It operates quietly and continuously, maintaining ion balance so the cell stays stable, responsive, and able to function. The sodium-potassium pump demonstrates how cells use energy not for motion, but to preserve the conditions that make their internal chemistry possible.